The Potosi Trojans are getting a new football field, renovated locker rooms, and a new quarterback for the 2014 campaign, but not much else will change for a program that's been steadily building over the last few seasons. You know, we've kind of been teetering the last couple years, and we've gotten a little bit better each year. I think this year is is that year we take that next step, and uh, there's a lot of excitement going on right now. We, you know, we've renovated our locker room a little bit down there, and it, it looks a lot nicer. We've got a brand new field being built right now that's bringing a lot of excitement, so these guys are... They're excited and ready to play, and I, I really believe we're going to put a good product on the field for people this year. That's Mark Casey, who enters his seventh year as the Trojans coach. They went 6-5 and five last season, good for third place in the white division of the MAFC. And despite losing 13 seniors from that squad, including all-district quarterback Aaron Vinson, they have an experienced group coming back. A lot of these guys that are seniors now, uh, played a lot as as youngsters, you know, as some of them as freshmen, and then a lot of them as sophomores, and a lot of them last year. Um, we'll have a lot of guys with experience. This will probably be the most experienced team we've had in a long time, and. Uh, you know, it, it's one of those things I think this year's senior class is going to be the biggest senior class that we've had in a long time at Potosi. Replacing a star quarterback like Vincent is always a challenge, but junior Jordan Huerta is anxious to show what he has. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty ready. I've been second string the whole life, you know, just ready to get going. And Huerta's teammates have liked what they've seen from him so far. He has the approval of his best offensive lineman, Zach Drennan. I think Joe will do really good this year, the way he plays and stuff, and He's a leader, too. He knows what he's doing and stuff. And if we don't know anything and he helps us out, he's always there. Really good player. And he even won over senior running back Blaine Riddle. I thought it was a little going to be a little rough at first, but Jordan's actually proved himself a lot. Like We didn't know if we was going to be able to pass that much, but we went out in 7-on-7 seven seven and he tore it up. Potosi's previous two quarterbacks were consistently among the area leaders in passing, and that means Huerta has some big shoes to fill. He's been doing a good job in the offseason, good job in camp so far. You know, Jordan's a different type of quarterback than those guys, you know. Uh, he's more of a game manager type quarterback. Uh, he's going to have the ability to run the ball a little bit more than those guys probably did. Uh, he, he's a smart kid in the classroom, smart everywhere. You know, so he, he makes good decisions on the field as well. And, you know, he as a sophomore last year, he, he got a lot of varsity experience on the defensive side of the ball. So it's not like he's just stepping under the lights for the first time ever and, you know, be in amazement of everything and have to step back. He's been there before and he's done it. You know, he, he played a few snaps at quarterback last year at the varsity level, played a few JV games for us. So he's been playing quarterback his whole career, and I think he'll step in just fine. Jordan admittedly isn't the pure passer that Vincent and Matt Marler were, but he believes he will bring a different wrinkle into the offense. I'm going to say I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit more. I can go a little harder. I say we're going to run a little bit more with me. You know, I can still throw if we need to, but you know, we're going to look good. And it is the running game that seems to be generating the most excitement this summer. I think the running game is going to be strong. I think Jordan's in a really good situation for a first-year quarterback because he's got receivers that are experienced around him. He's got running backs that are experienced around him. We've got an offensive line that, like we talked about, is very athletic, and we can do a lot of versatile things with those guys. We can block things a lot of certain, a lot of different ways. Of course, it helps to be returning a 1,500 yard rusher for his senior season Blaine Riddle thinks he can chew up even more yards this year. I was to hit around 2,000 yards because I've trained real hard in the offseason and I'm way better than I am last year just physically. And Coach Casey can't wait to see what his senior workhorse can do after a terrific offseason. He's going to be a great player in this conference this year. I mean he's worked his tail off this summer and in the offseason he's worked as hard as anybody I've ever had. You know he's kind of got three different sides to him you know he's a fast running back he's a quick running back and yet he's he's a strong running back you know so you can't just attack a running back like that in one way you gotta you gotta defend him in multiple ways but but yeah I'm looking for big things from Blaine and like I said he had 1500 last year I mean he's gonna get plenty of opportunities so I, I can see the sky the limit for Blaine and then you throw dream team wide receiver Austin Cooley into the mix and the Potosi offense could be as good or better than the one that averaged 26 points per game last season he's been great for us you know for the past three years as well and you know Austin he's grown a lot this offseason he's hit the weight room hard he's you know he's worked on his speed he's went to a lot of camps this summer and and Austin he's kind of one of those versatile players you know he'll play some receiver for us he'll play some running back for us he'll play some kick returner you know he'll just play all over the field and and he's one of those that you know in seven on seven this year he's looked really good at times you know he just he's that next 
level of athlete type of guy, and and we expect huge things out of him as well. I can just throw it up and he can run under it, you know. It doesn't even have to be on target. He'll just go up and get it. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. Riddle would like to get in on the passing game a bit more as well, although he says he'd like to improve that aspect of his game. Well, last year I was not at all. I had them pancake hands, but this year I've been training on the tennis ball machine and stuff, and my hand-eye coordination's got a lot better. You start with two hands and stuff, it starts speeding up, and once you get hanging out, you start one hand in it, and it, it prepares you for a bigger ball. But a prolific offense can never get off the ground without its offensive line. Senior guard Zach Drennan says they are smaller than normal up front, so speed and communication will be critical. Oh, it's the key. Communication is the best thing that you could use because you got to know who you're blocking and when. And we have certain calls and stuff that we call to make sure everybody knows what they're doing at all times. And if not, if they have any questions, then we'll talk to them. And Coach Casey doesn't think a smaller front is such a bad thing. No, I don't think it is. I think that, you know, we've got a lot of athletic guys on the line this year. Probably the most athletic line we've had in a while. Uh, we're not going to overwhelm people or overpower people, but I think that we'll be quick and we'll be strong enough to where we can hold our own. So, I mean, it has its pluses and minuses, but I, I really like the way it's shaping up right now. Plus, what Potosi lacks in size across the offensive and defensive lines, they make up for in numbers, spurring some of the biggest competitions for position in this year's camp. You know, we have a lot of guys that play two ways, and hopefully that'll relieve some of that pressure of having to play two ways. If we've got a guy that can play offense here and a guy that can play defense and they're both about the same, you know, we can rest some guys that way, and I think we'll have a little bit more depth than what we've had in the past couple years. Potosi had the third best defense in its conference in 2013, giving up 22 points per game, but with 8 of 11 starters returning on that side of the ball, those numbers could improve. It's one of the most experienced defenses we've had in a while coming back. And uh, we've got some, some good young talent coming through as well that's going to uh, hopefully add some depth to, to our defense. But uh, I, I'm excited about our defense. I think our defense is going to be very, very good this year. We're going to fly around and, and, and hopefully hit people all over the field and be as athletic as we've been in a while. It was an overall feeling of excitement at Potosi Camp this season. They had the best turnout in six years with nearly 60 kids suiting up, and most of them seem to be buying in to the Trojan way. Yeah, I've been really happy. A lot of these freshmen and sophomores are jumping out there. It's looking really good. Everybody's just really excited to get in there and play. So what should you expect from the Potosi Trojans in 2014? Their veteran head coach says to look for a complete football team. I think the running game will be strong. I would be very upset if it wasn't, you know, just because I've seen how well these guys can run the ball and, you know, the blocking up front, how athletic our linemen are. I think that we're going to be able to do some things in the running game, but I but we're going to be able to throw the ball as well. You know, we're going to have some good guys, some good speed on on special teams. I think that we're going to try to hit all phases of it, and, you know, we'll, we'll let you guys decide what's the strength is at the end. The best Potosi has ever finished in state has been third place, and that was back in 1989. To find out if Potosi has what it takes to outgun the likes of Central and St. Genevieve this year and vie for that coveted district title, make sure you tune in at G98 all season long. Reporting from the Potosi football training camp, I'm Glenn Johnson.